Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Scum single player episode. As you can see, I've got myself a little dirt bike. I've not been playing, well I've not been playing this game uh, on camera for about a week or so. And uh, I decided to log into my single player and do a little bit of work, a little bit of work. There's a few things that have changed in and around the base. There's a few things that have changed in terms of items that I have. And essentially, as you can see at the top right, uh, I've got a little bit more fame points than the last episode and I've got barely any money. That's because I've been spending my money and you're probably wondering where I'm going and where I got this dirt bike from. First of all, we're going to the naval base, which is where we're arriving right now, really, because I feel like doing some looting today. Um, I got this dirt bike essentially outside of the factory. Now, inside the factory there's a bunch of garages. It only needed a front wheel and I managed to find a front wheel it was barely, there was barely any fuel in it, so I drove it down here to Bravo 1 petrol station, drove it back to the base, dropped off all my stuff, and then I went south, Alpha Zero with the dirt bike, came back, topped up again, and then I rode all the way to Alpha 4, which is why we're here, we're in the naval base, and today is all about the naval base. The kit today, as you can see, we have got the AS Val. I had enough fame points and enough money to get myself three, well, four magazines, really, and a spare lot of ammo. Now, I'm going to hopefully not use all the not use all the ammo today. I'm hopefully not going to use all the ammo today. I'm going to stay purposely on semi-automatic today. But we're not going to stop here. We're going to go around the right-hand side, or the north side. That was a suicide puppet going pop. <laughs> also, before we actually begin today's episode, thank you ever so much for, like, everything on my birthday ladies and gentlemen i did say that i wasn't going to do a live stream but my uh, my community decided to surprise me my mods my admins all all the people that enjoy my content decided that it would be really really good if i actually had a feudal sword now if you don't know about this phil trainer as you know him for the trainer axe phil is currently building or forging a sword for me now my community my mods, my admins, I love you to bits, all chipped in money and decided to pay the man. So I've now got a sword in the I've got a sword in the works right now. I'm gonna put a little picture on screen. Also, could you go over and please follow Phil? Uh Mr. Trainor. He does ba he basically does little videos where he highlights what he's doing to the sword. Basically a progression of it from essentially a bit of metal to a sculpted masterpiece it's beautiful i cannot wait to get it and he's doing chemical etching on it as well with my uh with my my feudal helmet which is uh, uh, there's so many cool things and thank you very much to the people who gifted me things as well little presents here and there Jono, playmaker jed i see you guys thank you very much that was really kind of you as well uh, i will be building that uh, imperial knight dominus and my Kratos Heavy Assault Tank, I will be building those and I will be doing a little video on both of those because they are big works of art and they deserve a video for maybe the build process and the painting process. Now, on to the game news. On to game news. We are getting the Scar H and Scar L. Now, on the screen right now is a little video. It comes from Twitter. It's from Thomas Love. He's testing out the Scar L. I believe this is the Scar L variant, the 556 variant. Now, we're still to see the Scar H variant. Now, I really want them to make the sound really crunchy. Really crunchy. I want the H, I want the Scar H to sound heavy. I want it to sound lethal, as if there's a lot of firepower behind that damn thing. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's going to look even better with the Elkan Spectre scope on it, which is oh, my favourite scope of all time. You'll see me using a Spectre on Tarkov, on, well, soon Scum. Uh, you're going to see me using it on any game that's got an Elkan Spectre scope on it. You will see me using it, because I love, oh, I love that scope. It's so good. It's so, it's so good. It's so, oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. I'm very excited. As well as the Horde system. Now, 
funnily enough, I'm, I, 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 you know, I told the joke, like, this is just my single player save, this is just, like, you know, my multiplayer server, and I've been doing hard since they were, like, since before they were cool, you know what I mean? But it's cool that we're getting a proper hard system actually implemented into the game. Now, my question is, are they going to traverse, are they going to travel from, and let's use this as an example, from the mines in Alpha 3, the very bottom of Bravo 3? Are they going to wander on the main roads? Are they going to wander through the wilderness to different locations that maybe has maybe some noises? Maybe it's a noise that attracts them? Maybe it's an alarm in different POIs? When you enter the confines of a POI, maybe an alarm goes off and the, the hordes in the surrounding area can hear this a god awful noise so they go and investigate it and it's basically just a horde of all different types of puppets and they uh, traverse towards your location towards the POI that you're currently in and they are also part of the threat not only the sentries but now this just un just the number of like puppets just this massive horde that just appear out of nowhere coming out of the bushes coming out of the trees and things like that oh it look oh, in my head I can picture it, it looks terrible to just be around, it looks phenomenal from a cinematic point of view, and I, 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 there's so many things happening to this game guys, there's so many things, anyway, game time, play time, let's go and look, I've not got any water, okay, I've not got any water, right, hold on, before I do anything, uh, this is just a wee quick thing to do if you're uh, if you're ever out in the overworld, if you if you can't remember where you placed your vehicle, just place a little blueprint like that right there. That will stay there until you tell it to go away, or unless you, you know, close it on the crafting menu. But this is the easiest way to get into here. There is a lot of sentries in this location. If you are new to scum, this is a great place to find loot. This is a great place to find your first guns. This is a great place to find ammunition, attachments, better clothing. As you can see, my clothing's taken an upgrade as well. I've kind of left behind the bulletproof vest and stuff like that, but overall, my uh, my wardrobe is upgraded. Shh! This is such a nasty, nasty ass weapon. I want him first. Oh! I got him in a headshot, that's why you can still hear him. Where is he? He'll be, he'll be there somewhere. Oh, hello, madam. Missed a bullet there. That was a wee bit unfortunate. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep as many bullets as I can here. So we rattled quite a few puppets here and we're going to wait for him to blow up. Blow up, please. Three. Oh, there we go. I was going to count it down, but there's no point. Uh, ooh, a camouflage hat. Camouflage hat like my hat that I've got on right now. Nice. I love this gun. I... I adore this gun. Missed the bullet. There we go. Rattled. Totally rattled. Hopefully we find some additional AS Val rounds. Oh, 762 rounds. Also, I've got a, an assault backpack on today. I'm not feeling the, uh, the weight of the hiking backpack lately, so I'm sticking to what I know, sticking to what my favourite is, and is in fact this backpack right here. I love these backpacks, right? Looting to Oh, lots of MREs in here. In fact, there's a can of soda, that's actually quite good. That's actually quite good. In the previous episode as well, you saw me die, and uh, unfortunately I got, uh, I got battered by the sentries, I then went back for my body, I got attacked by them, uh, they essentially threw, um, what do you call it, tear gas, CS gas at me, and that wasn't fun. <laughs> oh, that was not fun at all. Um, I had to go home, wash my eyes, I then had to wait until the, the overall effects of the CS gas wore off, and then I had to start doing the episode, <laughs> another episode after that. But it takes a minute for the bloodshot, oh, that's, that's good. That's a 20 pack of uh, 12 gauge. I was actually handling 12 gauge today. I actually had 12 gauge in my hands today. At my work. <laughs> it's like, ooh, 
what, what we got here? What, 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 what's this? And it, it was Magnum. It was Ultra Magnum 12 gauge. And oh my god, it was huge. The cartridge for the, that thing. Massive. Ooh. Uh, absolutely massive. Absolutely unruly and un just unreasonably large. Like, I, ca I can't describe it. The only way that I can really describe it is like, in the palm of my hand, it was the size of my palm. It was big. Now, I'm used to that. I'm used to ammunition being big. Look at that. Oh, do I want that? No. I don't want that. I'm used to ammunition being quite big like that. I'll take that. Um, I'm not unfamiliar with the ammunition being that big. But it was it was, it was, was just the fact that when I put it in my hand and I was like, Whoa, what the size of these? <laughs> Massive. Massive, massive cartridges, but it was cool. It was cool. I was handling 20 gauge today, 12 gauge today. I've never handled 6 gauge. I know 6, six gauge. Oh, we need that because we've actually got a Kruger at home. Uh, I've never handled 6 gauge before, and I know for a fact 6 gauge is like, like scary. Scary. Like, that's, if you think 12 gauge is scary, 6 gauge is bloody scary. <laughs> or 8 gauge? Is it 8 gauge? It's six, it's six or eight, it's either or, I can't remember what it is because I don't think we necessarily have it in the UK, but uh, I've, se I've seen videos, I, uh, I have seen, I, I have seen videos, hello, I like this gun, I really, I, 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 I really, really, really like this gun. <laughs> I really like this gun. What I could do is I could probably find myself an AK rail and put a holographic sight on it, a red dot sight on it. Hell, even a, even a bigger scope. An, M, uh, an M82A1 scope would fit this, no problem. Right, where I want to go is essentially those Quonset huts right there. So I am going to go this direction. I'm going to go down the hill and I'm going to go around. You can go down there. You can go down there as well towards the crane. But the uh, the good stuff is uh, is like in the middle level, and then you have to go to the south side where you'll find the ladder hatch, and the ladder hatch will essentially allow you to go into the underground. That was a wasted bullet right there. Are you coming over here? He's dead. I should have only used one bullet, but it used two. That's fine. Uh, I don't have a problem with that as long as they die. Rattled. Absolutely rattled. Oh! Okay, this is this is a this is complicated man things a wee bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit complications. Oops. See, the round for this. It's so good. It only takes one shot for most of these guys. Which is perfect. I just have to find even more bullets. I just have to find more bullets. <laughs> I just have to find more. This is going to be a bit of a bit of an issue. I'm, I've already rattled through one, uh, one magazine. I've only got one magazine worth of ammo left. <laughs> I don't think these guys are going to carry. Oh, there's 357 ammo. I did pick up some 9mm, there's more 357. Ah, we'll go in. We'll go in. Why have we nosy what's in here? What we got? What we got? Some military goggles. Oh, lots of... There's lots of things spawning right now. You can see my... Uh, oh, that's not a very good sound. We don't like that. You can kind of see my screen kind of skipping a wee bit. That's things spawning in around me. That's, that's, that's not just, like, the game being a little bit, you know, iffy. It's essentially the whole game being like, hey, listen, we're going to spawn a lot of things in around you. You just have to wait it out kind of deal. So, uh, yeah, just, 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 just wait it out. Just wait it out. I ain't going to wait it out. I ain't going to wait for them to spawn around me. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep moving. Um, the place that I want to go next, do I have my lock picking equipment? I do. I do have my screwdriver with me. That's perfect. Like to see that. 
after uh, after hitting these Kwanzaa huts, we're going to go inside the naval base. We're going to go in the underground where the sub base is, or the sub pens are. And we're going to do some unlocking of locked containers. And there's quite a few, quite a lot of containers here. And the, the easiest way to go about, you know, getting said things is by going through the uh, the overhead aid, but the overhead kind of uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Tunnel, the the ladders. Yes, woofed. If I can get. Oh, that was a that was a scary moment right there. Oh, there's one still alive over there. You're not going to cause a problem, are you? You're going to stuck there, aren't you? You're stuck there. You're silly. You're a silly boy. You know what? I'm not even going to use a bullet on him. There's no point. Not not, not at this rate that I'm I'm spending ammo. I really need to find more AS foul rounds. Hopefully, we can find some in the underground. Oh, AS foul rounds. Sick. Two, uh, two flashlights. That's a first for me. Uh, more fat boy helmets. A kunai. Oh, that as well. Uh, Phil's got some really cool... He's actually made kunai. From this game. I know kunai are a real... It's a real like, kind of knife. But... He's made them. He's actually made... Oh, he's actually made them. And he's had a he's had a good throw of them as well. He's actually throwing them, which is really cool. Thirty-eight special AP ammo, tactical gloves, more twelve gauge. I'll be taking them. Twenty-two LR. I, w I I almost got the chance to hold some twenty-two LR and then throw it, throw it squarely into the bin. <laughs> oh, I was I was uh, I. I I say I don't like it. I, d I really don't. Not in this game, but in real life, 22 LR is quite good. It's, go it's good for what it, uh, for, for what it's designed to do. Uh, I'm going to go this way. There's this Quonset Hut over here. There is, in fact, even more Quonset Hut ups Qu Quonset Huts up there. In fact, you know what? Let's make use of the scope. Quonset Hut 1, 2, and there's a third one right there. Right. Double check my ammo. We're sitting on 13 bullets. I should... Right, tell you what, I'm going to make this a lot easier on myself. I love the noise it makes inside you. Oh! I love the sound it makes inside, inside the Kwanzaa hut. Let's just hear that one last time. Oh, oh, oh it's so good. Oh, it's so good, so good, so good. Right. Oh, medium awareness skill, nice, perfect. That's what we like to see. Lots of level ups, love it. Stun grenades, flashbang, really. Uh, not really, not really anything that I'd like to use right now. Um. Where is all the AS foul rounds? I'd really like to get some. One one place that I know I can get them is inside, you know, the uh, abandoned bunkers. But as uh, other people have found, I am not very good at them. What I will, however, do is work up the amount of ammo that I truly need to get the M249. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. Let's put that away. Put that away, you silly bugger. Right, reload that. Like to see that. Like, I really like to see that. I like to see lots of fresh ammo. Lots and lots of fresh ammo. <laughs> Scum's being nice to me today. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> something's something's going to go wrong. Something's going to go completely awry. And it's going to cause me to uh, either get killed or... Something bad's gonna happen to like a vehicle. It's gonna happen to my gun. Something's gonna happen. I know. I know. I know for a fact. Something bad's gonna happen. I'd like to stay positive, but I know the game's gonna be like, "Haha! You thought? You actually thought?" No, not not today. Not today. Right. 
yes, Vile Magazine is loaded. And let's reload this one as well because we do have a couple of rounds left for it. I'll just quickly double check that we have no more. We have no more. Perfect. Okay. I'm just going to run it without the scope for just now. As, as good as the scope is, as good as the scope is, um, for right now, um, might want to just, um, uh, just keep that off. You know what I mean? 338 rounds. We've actually got a pack of 308 rounds. So that's OM or OP, I can't remember. Right, we are going to go south now. We are we are not going to go through the main tunnel. We're going to go through and over. So, we're going to go this direction. Shut that door quickly. Right, hopefully I can run over here. Right, that 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 pop that uh, the puppet, the sentry should be uh, should be stoting about here somewhere. I'm going to quickly reload this so I've got some more space. I'm very thirsty apparently. Right, well, you can take a drink. Once once we stop reloading this magazine. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I should keep a hold of the uh, the 22 LR because I do have a Kruger magazine. Stop oh! Right there. You have the right to an attorney. I have the right to bless you with the smithereens. You have a right to a, an attorney. He has the right to blast me to smithereens. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh, Aha. Uh -huh. I kind of need you to not be there. I kind of need you to go back to your normal patrol path so I can go to the southern side of this uh, of this here POI. There's actually a set of stairs right there. Can I, uh, can I get away with this? Oh, maybe I can. Oh, hey, I can. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Ooh. He he was angry. He decided to let loose a shot to make me um to make me panic there. That he didn't actually see me. He didn't actually see me. I'm j I'm just too good at this game. Just too good. Too good. Too fast. Too fast for that loser anyway. Right, canteen time. Get some water in you. This might be stale ass water, but it's water nonetheless. Get it in you. Get it in you, son. Ooh. The shadows, the shadows kind of gave me a fright. <laughs> I'm afraid of my own shadow. Right, put that in there. And where we want to go is further south now. We want to keep going uh, that direction. We want to keep going south. So, and I, I need to be careful here because that sentry is a pain in the ass. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for the sentry that's just in front of us to get out the road, as in it's back to us, then we're going to run up that hill, there should be a tunnel, a set of ladders down the way, like an access tunnel or an access hatch there we go, I think we can start moving now e I am going to charge him I'm going to charge him. His stepping actually caused me to miss. There's... Oh my. Hello? Oh, he's coming back, okay. Right, that's fine, we can... Okay, that's... That, I might have put myself in a wee bit of a precarious spot right here. Go on. Shoo. He's coming... The other, I think the other one's coming down as well? I mean, if I just hold here, I'll be fine. 
right, we'll keep, we'll, we'll go left. There's my chest. Oh my god! Woo! <laughs> right, run over here to the coastline. Actually, we don't need to go through the access hatch. What am I talking about? We can do it this way. We can do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is it along this way? I think it's along this way. We'll do it the old-fashioned way. I say the old-fashioned way. This is just an alternative way. <gasps> Try and not break my legs in the process. Right, if I go behind these... Oh, where is it? Where the hell is it? As you can see, it's getting a lot deeper now. This is where the sub-pens are. These are actually based off of sub-pens that can be found off the coast of Croatia. There we go. Sub-pen. Right. Hey! Perfect! We're in! Sub-pens. These are real, by the way. I don't think they're a one-to-one -one scaling, but they are. They are based off of real, uh, a real location. Although that that light at the end of the tunnel doesn't seem very real. There's an old mech right there. Hold on, that's an old mech. That's an old sentry right there. Oh, and 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 death, and death and despair. Perfect. Uh, tell you what, we're gonna go upstairs because I don't want to. I, I don't want to access it. From this side, I want to access it from that side, and I'd have to go all the way around to get to that point right there anyway. So, I'm just going to do the clever thing. Not go near the sentry, but go around the sentry. Should be a ladder here. There we go. Climb down this ladder here. It seems it seems like a lot of work just to get to a bunch of locked con containers, but trust me, eh... You don't want to. You don't want to get trapped in here. The suicide puppets are one thing, but the amount of puppets that I have spawning right here is unreasonable, and there's a lot of them. Right, there's the submarine right there. That's there's a submarine right there. I wish we could drive it. I really wish we could drive it. Right, let's. Um, all right, nice. That, that, that bullet drop was crazy though. Did you see that? That bullet drop was wild. That's one suicide puppet out the road though. That's, uh, that, already we're, we're actually succeeding. <laughs> I don't want to get caught by the, uh, the sentries or anything like that. Right, we'll hold here for a second. Any suicide puppets? An old sentry though. Oh, he's going to get killed. Maybe. No. Oh. Are you going to come forward? Are you going to walk forward? No? Are you turning? Okay. Yep, more old ones. Old sentries. More old sentries. You love to... I love to see them. I genuinely love to see these. Uh... Oh! I didn't realize he could see me from there. Right. Are you, uh, are you done? Did he just step on that? Did he just step? Did he just step on that thing? Did he just step on that? Oh, no, he didn't. I can see the puppet moving. I can see it moving. Right. We've kind of, um,. I've kind of, I kind of, I kind of busted this a little bit. This is a little bit. This, this isn't how I wanted it to go. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't plan for this. I didn't really plan for that to happen. As soon as he moves to the left, right there. Um, no. Kill. Miss. Kill. Basic sniping skill. Nice. Yeah, they get they get trapped on that stuff all the time. 
Nice. I'm gonna chill behind this. I, I, I did forget I have a torch on this thing, but there's no point using the torch at this point. Ooh. Just double check that there's nothing coming along there. I can hear a hee hee. I can hear him. But he's there. We can start moving. Oh, wait. Nice. Jump, go, go, just run, 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 go, 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 open that door, shut that door, and we are now safe, we're safe, we're actually safe in here, nothing can get us now, and now we can run through all these uh, containers right here, right, I'm back, right, that was weird. I clicked on that and then it just simply crashed my whole game. It actually gave me a fatal error. It didn't even give me the option to close it. Anyway, pick lock. Pick lock. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that uh, we get something good out of this. There we go. Pick lock. Right, two more. And... Yeah, there we go. Cool. Right, let's see what we've got. Really, four bullets of 9mm? Really? UMP magazine, that's okay. That's good. More more ammunition for the SVAL. More ammunition for 7.62 AK. MP5 magazine. UMP magazine. What is going on with this place? Not very good loot so far. Not very good. Um, I will. You know what? I'll just re I'll just stack it up. I suppose. I'll just stack it up. There we go. So that's not full. I kind of just added the last little, the one millimeter, one nine millimeter that I did have. So <laughs> yeah. There we go. MP5, 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 9mm, UMP, UMP, it's just a shame that I don't have a UMP at home, I'd really like one, I'd love a UMP right now. Right, now we've got two full magazines, or partial, partially full magazines of uh, 9mm for the MP5. Okay, we are going to go this way, going to open this up, shut that door. Actually, uh, I'm going to leave that door open. I'm going to leave that nice and open right there. The reason for that is, well, that... That, that's exactly why I did that. Oh, alright. Glad the game didn't crash there. Oh shit, they're coming up those stairs now. <gasps> no bullets! There we go. Don't shoot me. I ran out of bullets. I ran out of bullets at the wrong time. <laughs> at the wrong time. <gasps> no! Really cutting this close, man. Any more dumbasses? Right, no more dumbasses. Right, cool. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a tiger, fish alive. <laughs> right. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Bobby pins, Bobby pins, Bobby pins. One, two, three, four. Oh fuck! Oh! Get the gun out! Right. Oh. Right, we need to go back to crafting because that that crash knocked off my last crafted item. 
There we go. I'm a wee bit bleedy. Just a little bit. Just a little bit bleedy. Do I need so oh dear. Treat that, please. Treat that, please. Need that treated ASAP. That little infection icon is not a good sign. At all. <laughs> it's not a good sign. Right, uh, bleeding injury, we will just treat that with one bandage. We are a little bit on the hungry side. Right, cool, that's sorted. Right, let's quickly get that stuff and get the hell out of here. I'm, I'm praying we can get something good out of here. The, the, <laughs> the only, the only uh, redeeming thing here will be is if any of this is bad, uh, we'll have to go to the Kwanzaa huts, the other three Kwanzaa huts that I kind of bypassed and see if the loot is actually stashed there. I'm hoping it's not, because these locked containers should really consist of something good. There we go. Right. Number one. That's a good find. Number two. Another MP5 mag. I'm glad it's given me MP5 magazines, but I'm also at the same time, like, a little bit, like, kind of miffed. This place is supposed to be... Oh, God, man. I'll take that and I'll just repair it, I suppose. Little bit miffed. I was hoping to get something half decent out of here. And oh, the, the puppets are back. What are we looking like for ammo? Halfway. <sighs> You're a problem. Did they... they didn't all respawn, did they? Oh, they might have just all respawned. Oh, that was dramatic! That was very dramatic! That was... <laughs> oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I need, I need him to stay down there. I need him to stay down there. Don't come up. Do not come up. Oh, please don't come up. <laughs> please, please don't come up. Oh. No, right, hold on. I'm going to reload this magazine with some fresh... Oh, oh. It was right there. Okay. Uh. I'm going to unload that magazine and I'm going to restack this magazine. So I've got one empty. Where's my other one? Oh, it's empty. Ooh. Okay. Get that on. Lovely. Right, get that on. For for a place that I thought would have some half decent stuff in it, um, it was kind of disappointing. Not gonna lie. Not going to lie. A little bit disappointed in the look here. But it doesn't stop us from uh, from getting the rest of the loot at the Kwanzaa huts, I suppose. Right, we can just jump here and run. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Oh 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 no! Whoa! <laughs> I'ma get out of here. I'ma get out of here. I think it's... where's the hatch? Where's the hatch? Where's the hatch? Aha! The hatch! I see it! It's right there. Right. I'm gonna go up here and hopefully we can get back to those three Kwanzaa huts if we can. Perfect. We can probably try and get a little bit more loot out of here. Uh, but I have... I have... Uh, I've spent a lot of... Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna refer to it as money. I've spent a lot of money here. <laughs> For very, very little return. <laughs> At least my fame points have climbed to 257. I can't believe that crashed on me. I cannot believe that crashed on me. That was irritating. Anyway, anyway, we soldier on. We go on. The show must go on. Right, Quonset huts are going to be like right there where my cursor is. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a run. As soon as we get to this ladder hatch, or as soon as we get this hatch open, we're just going to run directly for them. Going to make sure that this gun is ready to go. And... Open. There we go. Don't have to worry about sentries here because they don't really patrol this area. At least here. They don't patrol the coastline. They only patrol their... Uh, 
their little roads. Oh, hello. Why are you out? Oh, hello. Ah, back. I'm not so bothered about the heavies. It's the uh, it's the light ones that I need to worry about. Bullets. <laughs> Eight. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, game. That's how you're gonna have it. I must have aggroed them. I must have aggroed all of them off the surface. Where's that sentry? Is he coming back? He's coming back. He is coming back. He's on his way back to me. Right, we'll just chill here for a second. I can see that sentry over there to my right. And there's also the one to my left as well. So we'll have to, um, we'll have to time this right. Because the uh, the area that I want to go to, and you can't you can, you can see it in the third person, but we're going up there. We're going up to that fence essentially. Right, when he turns around, uh, he's going to come towards us. May as well reload this magazine. There we go. I'd like to find even more AS Val rounds, please. What I should do in future is just bring out the MP5. Just bring the MP5 out with me because the amount of ammo that I've found for 9mm is unreasonable. <laughs> so I think we'll be taking that out with us. Or the shotgun. The shotgun's always a good shout. 12 gauge, sluggies, etc. We'll take that out with us. Stop right there. Zoom on on you, you, bro, now. what? Huh? Excuse me? It's fine, we can go along the bottom here. We can juke him. Rattled. Oh dear. You dead? He's dead. Where? Oh, where? oh, there he's there. Right, we'll move this way. And then we'll head up the right hand side. And hopefully we won't get spotted. Hopefully we'll be safe. Ooh, I thought he was going to turn on me there. I thought he was going to do a. I think he was going to do a 180 right there. That was a. Uh, that was going to be a lot. A big sussy moment right there. <laughs> Up we go. I've really not used my uh, my melee weapon, have I? Right. A bunch of Kwanzaa huts and 27 rounds of uh, Ace Val rounds. Rattled. Take that off. Oh! No puppets! No puppets! No puppets, no puppets. Good. That's good. It seems to be that I've aggroed all the puppets though. They might not be living here, but they're certainly living outside. That's AKS ammo. I could take that. That suicide puppet is getting awkwardly close now. Awkwardly close. I should have brought the. I should have just brought the MP5. I should have just brought the MP5. I knew. It. I knew. I should have just brought that. Silly, silly bugger. Silly bugger that I am. Uh, ooh, I'll take that. I'll take that as well. There's plenty of hee hees going on outside. Plenty of rars going on outside as well. Rattle that. Oh, now that is a colour. That is blue. <laughs> a 
blue. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. I forgot about the sentry there. I forgot about him. with them. Good. <laughs> Good. Oh, I never put my gloves back on. Where's my gloves? Where, where are my gloves? There's my gloves. Hey, put your gloves back on. Not get that hand abrasion, you know what I mean? Those hand abrasions are a pain in the ass. <laughs> right, rattle through this. That's a 1911 rail. Oh, now there's a pair of tactical pants. And there's a nice little top to go with it. Bedroll. I don't find myself using the bedrolls. I think I've asked this before, and a lot of people are in agreement with me as well. Uh, they don't tend to use them. It's only a select few people who are actually using them to uh, to beat the uh, the, the old uh, exhaustion. Right, right, to this. Right, that's that's the problem. That's the problem sorted. Don't have to worry about that suicide puppet anymore. I need to get a haircut. My hair is going in my eyes. <laughs> I need to get this cut. I need to get this barnet cut. Oh yes, that's what we like to see. I'm gonna swap them out. There we go. Got a helmet. Got another. He I've got the same helmet. I have the same helmet. Beanie. Right, we'll go for the last one, shall we? Of course, this is full of badness. Well, I, I could, I, I, I don't know what to say about that one. I don't know what to say about that one. That was a, that was a wee bit strange. It's <laughs> a wee bit odd. She kind of stopped there and was like, I, I'm going to hit you now. I am going to hit you now. And she didn't hit me. <laughs> she just stood there. <laughs> she just stood there like... I'll hit you when I feel like it. <laughs> MP5 suppressor, we'll take it. Rattled, another bag. Raised beanie. That means the next few, next few uh, big bags should be lucky. Should be, should be lucky. Uh, I mean, I like those glasses, but it's not lucky. Oh ho ho! More, more quivers and stuff like that would be really handy. But I think we've we've met our end here, ladies and gents. We've met our end. We need to get out of here now. So I need to go this direction. What am I looking like for ammo? Seven rounds. Empty. And no spares. Empty and no spares, right, we're gonna go this way. Go, 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 go. Oh, these guys have respawned. These guys have respawned. I'm on edge now because I've not got a lot of bullets left. I think in future I'm gonna start using like shotguns and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely shotguns. Oh, right, run. Run this way. Rattled. Two heavies. 
The heavies I can deal with. I can just um, outrun them. Yeah, I can outrun these guys. Yeah, three heavies. I'll outrun them. I've only got one round left anyway, so I won't be able to do anything ag like against them. May as well just run for the uh, the bike. Right, bike's just in front of us. We can grab it and get out of here. Still get plenty of stamina. And that's us out. We're free. We're good to go. We're good to get out of here now. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I think in future I'm going to go in with a lot more ammo, a lot more know-how as well. And lots of spare ammunition, spare piles of ammunition, 30 piles and stuff like that. Because uh, clearly, <laughs> clearly I need to uh, do a little bit of target acquisition practice. Because uh, <laughs> there's fire all around them. And uh, yeah, oh, hello. Oh. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> right, round we go. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, if you have enjoyed it today, leave a thumbs up on this video. Tell me if you liked it in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Ring the little bell, stay up to date with videos just like this, as well as a Sunday night live stream, which starts between 6 and 7 p.m. UK. We go for about three, four hours playing Scum, Stalker, other FPS, RTS, and survival titles as well. And occasionally you'll find me play, uh, painting some Warhammer 40k models. It's always a lot, it's always a laugh. It's always a good time. I'd like to see more people in the streams. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna drive myself home off camera and get the, uh, hopefully not destroy this motorcycle. Thank you very much for watching today, and as always, I've been Mr. Feudal. I'll see you all another time.